What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is David Hanlon, aka The Laptop Legend, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the stocks that I'm gonna be buying tomorrow. Now today, I locked in over $1,700 in day trading profits, more than making up for my tiny red day yesterday. I think it was about $500, something like that. Again, it just told me this morning. It didn't tell me yesterday, that's why I didn't update you guys in yesterday's video, but now I'm green in the month of March and feeling pretty good about it. We got some great opportunities coming up and there's a lot of stocks that are getting pretty beaten down, meaning that when we get a nice PR, there's gonna be a nice pop and I wanna talk about that. I wanna talk about some of the price action from today so you guys can understand what happened, where I got in, how I made this $1,700 and uh, explain what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow to hopefully beat that or at least come close to that because this month is a little bit slower, but overall, I think we're looking pretty darn Aren't good. So also I want to up you, update you guys that I, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you didn't know this, but if you do, you probably saw my story. I just deposited $30,000 in a new brokerage account. This is not going to be in my Roth IRA. Typically I trade in my Roth IRA, but now I'm going to be trading outside. And the reason for that is so that I can be over the PDT of 25,000. And also I'm going to have a margin account where I can short and I got at a broker that typically has pretty good locates for shorts. So if this market is slower in March, I'm gonna be able to short and make a good amount of money, a good amount of money to the downside. If we get a big crash, I'll make some money on that. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. And uh, man, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you like it, smash that like button, tickle it, fondle it, whatever you want to do. Just you know, as long as it turns blue, I'm happy. And yeah, let's let's stop in my computer. All right, guys. So I'm here at my laptop, and this is just another example of why I made that outside brokerage account so I can start shorting. Because when I see opportunities like this, man, and I miss out on them, it stinks. This is just another example of what probably will be my favorite go-to short pattern, which is shorting the break of the uptrend. If there's a beautiful uptrend that goes all day long, when it breaks, it's such a good opportunity to short because you get a lot of extension to the upside, which means there's a lot of room to fall. And typically speaking, that's where everyone puts their stop losses. And because of that, it's very likely to, you know, continue on down after that. If I were along, I would be looking to buy here and I would cut my losses if it breaks the uptrend. So just thinking about it from the reverse side, if you're a short, it makes the most sense to get in when all the longs are going to be getting out. And uh, man, I mean, you look at this, you short it here on the break at 18, 1850. And I mean, it, after hours, it's down at 1630. I mean, you could cover into the end of the day. You could cover here. You can risk off of 19. I mean, it's 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 a good trade, man. So I'm really going to be looking to do this. I think my deposit will only get cleared uh, for use on Monday, this, this coming Monday. So I won't be able to trade with it this week. But hopefully after that, it'll be good to go. And I'll be able to trade these types of setups because I'm looking forward to it. And I think it's going to be really cool. Um, TSMPD, this was my biggest one today. This is my biggest winner today. And exactly as predicted in yesterday's video, there was a huge morning panic. There was actually a big gap down uh, off the morning panic. And the reason for this is, again, there's a lot of people who've been stuck since the reverse split who are now profit taking. And it just, I mean, it makes sense. You can see, I mean, the reverse split happened down here and it went all the way up there. I mean, it pretty much doubled since the reverse split, which is absolutely insane. I mean, reverse splits, again, they're typically not a good thing, and uh, it doubled after that. So uh, there was someone in our Discord who, even after this, still made like 10000 on his on his play down here. Uh, but pretty much everyone was taking their gains, and he was actually able to get executed right here. Shout out, Dan. Um, but a lot of people, you know, might have got filled down here or might have just waited, and it, it never bounced, man. It never made a higher high. You can see it bounced here, made a lower high a lower high, and then just faded off lower high. Couldn't break that, faded off lower high. And uh, man, just a little bit rough. Now, I actually was alerted, I think it was right here, because right here was when E-Trade customers were able to sell. For whatever reason, E-Trade was, I guess, a little bit delayed. So people who were in from the reverse split on E-Trade only were able to sell here. Shout out to the guy in the Discord. I forget your name, sorry, man. Uh, but he told us that you know E-Trade customers could sell here and that caused this sell off at the end of the day. It did have a nice little perk up into close, so we'll have to see what it does. But I mean, this still definitely has a lot of room to fall. We'll see what happens now because again, the news came out and uh, without news, I mean, it, it could keep fading back down. Not sure. I think it would be ironic if they did this reverse split to get it above $4 so it could be listed on the NASDAQ and then it, uh, it keeps falling and, and goes back under $4. That would be, that would be ironic. So we'll see what happens. I mean, maybe they keep doing some press releases to keep it over $4, but we will see again. I just, I love setups like this, man. I only nailed this one. I nailed that first little bounce there. I didn't even nail the big bounce. 
I literally, I just nailed this little bounce, and then I didn't, I didn't nail this bounce. I didn't get filled on here. So, I mean, you don't need a lot of si uh, a lot of movement if you're taking big size on a stock like this. So, just pretty cool. Execution seemed to be a lot better today for me at least. So, I don't know if it's you know now that everything's switched over now. Now it works, but uh, I didn't have any two and a half minute market sales on this today. But this is definitely going to keep being in play, guys. Definitely going to keep being in play. Looks like there's some support in this area, so <laughs> who knows? I mean, literally, I'm just going to respond and react to what the stock does. I don't think we're expecting any new news, so maybe it's just a flat, boring day tomorrow. We'll have to see. Um, let's see, OZSC. This is one that I really, really want you guys to keep on your watch list because this one is getting hyped up within the discord that the CEO is in. So again, I'm in a CEO, I'm in a discord with the CEO of OZSC and uh, he's talking about the fact that they have some big things coming up and uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me on this, but he said he's meeting with someone from Tesla tomorrow to talk about uh, you know, some of their batteries and stuff like that. So potentially there could be some pretty big press releases coming in the future. If OZSC gets a press release with Tesla, you can bet your bottom that this thing is going to be flying. So, uh, I mean, look at this. This is a typical long strategy. You see this? It's holding the downtrend perfectly this entire time. So once this breaks out over the downtrend, uh, this should pop up pretty darn nicely. And I think all it would take would be a PR to do that. I think I think a nice little PR talking about, um, you know, a deal with Tesla or whatever. Also, apparently, like the state of New York, potentially there's a hundred, I think it was 170 million a month on the table. So I'm not saying this is going to get 170 million a month deal. If it did, this thing would obviously, I mean, just absolutely skyrocket. This thing would be dollars instantly. Um, but I mean, just be on the lookout. High alert on OZSC because there are some press releases that will probably be coming in the near future. And when it happens, it's going to pop up a lot. And the great thing about this is it's so cheap that you can buy a lot more shares because I mean, a stock that's this much, I mean, I can buy... I can't do that math in my head. 300,000 shares, 400,000 shares at this price versus like back when I was buying it for the news here. Yeah, I bought it here and I made a couple thousand this day. I mean, I only bought 100,000 shares, no, 160,000 shares. So I mean, I can buy a lot more shares now that it's this cheap. And uh, when it's this cheap, it takes a lot less movement for you to double your money. You know, from 16 to 32, that's a 100% increase versus when it's at 40, it has to go from 40 to 80 to double your money. So Definitely, this is one of the biggest watches. Uh, uh, just, just keep watching it, guys. Forwardly did the same thing, uh, pretty much as TSMP did. No big morning panic. It actually spiked out of the gate, uh, but then faded off the rest of the day like TSMPD, and then bounced at the end of the day like TSMPD. So we'll have to see what happens on that one. Definitely some weird, like, you can kind of see here. There's there's some night sellers, NITE, that's the market maker ID, and they're unloading a lot of shares, uh, and there's, there's like invisible walls that hold this down, and there's times where it should bounce, but it can't. And again, you can see on the level two or even the level one, there's a seller sitting with just a thousand shares or like a hundred shares on the ask, yet 10,000, 20,000, 100,000 people buy from it and it doesn't go anywhere. So that's how you know that there's someone holding it down. And I don't like trading stocks like that because literally the only way it moves up is if they feel like moving their offer up. Otherwise, like it literally, I mean, it's not going to move. So I don't like that in general, but you know, it is what it is. Let's see what else we had going on. WKSP, this one absolutely went insane today, had some nice consolidation and finished near the top. I really don't like trading this one because the executions are so slow. Even though this is, I believe, an OTC QB, which again is a level above pink sheets, um, might even be QX, I'm not positive. I think it's QB though. Um, but it's so slow, guys, it's so slow. Like I place an order to buy, say it's printing at like, you know, say it bounce here to 44, and it's, it's at 45. There's a wall of sellers at 45. I, I press buy at 46.5 and it's printing 45 for like a minute and I don't get filled and then it goes above. So that's the type of stock that you're dealing with here. So you got to be really, really careful because you can't really cut losses super well. You can see, again, break of the downtrend. I mean, this is what happens when it breaks the downtrend, guys. So if you want an idea of what I think OZSC could see, look at this stock. Look at this stock right here. I mean, break of the downtrend, same thing. Break of the uptrend is a good way to short. Break the downtrend is a good way to get long. So just keep that in mind. Um, let's see, what else? RKT, this is probably the biggest uh, uh, non-OTC stock. So if you guys don't like OTCs or you wanna look into this stock, man, this thing went insane today. Up 71%. Uh, there was a, apparently a lot of algorithmic weirdness on this at every whole dollar. That's what I've heard from some good traders. So uh, apparently that was also the price action that GME displayed before its crazy run. So potentially, 
this could go insane. Uh, it is a larger market cap to my knowledge, but it was 40% shorted. And uh, I mean, clearly, clearly it's doing something. So <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen with this. I made $1 on it today. I bought a, uh, a put right before it went on that big run. And then I, yeah, I think I bought a put. I don't remember where I bought it. Maybe at 38 and it dipped a tiny bit and I made $1 on it. So I made my money on this stock. I'm not gonna touch it again. But if you guys wanna touch this stock, uh, absolutely go for it. This is just not one that I can really trade according to my strategies. There's no good way for me to trade this because uh, it's just, you know, you don't know when the top is gonna be. It could squeeze hellas and it could also just tank on you at any minute. We had someone in our chat room, shout out Renee. He bought it like right here and, uh, no, he bought it right here and it, it tanked down and he was down a ton. He only bought 100 shares, but on a day like today, you know, if you give back a $500 profit, that stinks. So luckily he got out with only 80 loss, but you just gotta be so careful, guys. You, you gotta be so careful chasing stocks like this when they're up this much because there is a lot of manipulation. There's a lot of big players. I mean, look at all that. I mean, 2 million per minute volume candles on a $40 stock. That is a lot of money that is flowing into this company and you are a tiny fish in a massive pond. So just be careful if you decide to trade this stock. Um, let's see, anything else? AITX had a nice, nice little bounce, AITX. I made a few hundred on that today. Yeah, 185 on that today. Uh, nice little bounce here towards the end. I might've gotten in on this one though. It actually might've been this one, I forget. Had a lot of red candles that opened, but fat dude felt like he was just sitting on it. And I mean, if you look at this one overall, just so many red candles, bro. But it's like red candles that don't do anything. That's what's so weird about it. Like it's not fading down. It's just red candles that don't do anything. So I really don't know what to say about this stock. I mean, hopefully we get some big panics or get some big rips, but otherwise like this is just boring. It's boring price action, guys. Uh, MIDI. I flipped the spread today on this one. There's a nice spread that you can flip. And uh, I, I switched it to first in, first out, intraday, which means that anything intraday will be sold first. And after that, it, it def defaults to first in, first out. So this allows me to hold a long-term position MIDI. I still have my 127,500 shares, but I can also take advantage of these intraday you know, spreads because this is insane, guys. It's insane. So we'll see what happens. If I get stuck holding MIDI, I don't care. I'll just add it to my long-term position. Again, I have 80-something thousand shares from 40, so I I'm not worried if I, get, if I get stuck holding some shares at 35. Really not a big deal for me. Uh, ALYI, this one's pretty much dead, guys. AABB uh, had a little bit of a panic, but not, not a ton of, of great. I mean, it, it panicked a lot, but it, the bounce was choppy, gross. Not really a ton of great opportunities on this one today. Made a little bit, um, but yeah, not too much. JCS, this is a low float stock that uh, was spiking up a ton in pre-market and then, you know, tried to grind its way back up, but failed and then just absolutely died. Just absolutely died. And this is one, again, this is probably one where I would short the break of the uptrend. And you can see the uptrend here, it's holding on the bottom side. It might be cleaner if I go to five minute candles, honestly. It's probably cleaner if I, no, I'm trying to tilt you. Ah, ah, come here. There you go. So you can see guys, like literally everyone else sees this and the more people who see it, like it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Like literally once it breaks the uptrend, it's game over. Once it breaks the uptrend, it's game over. Like you can see that massive candle once it breaks the uptrend and from there, it just fades all day. It just fades all day. If you go to five day, I mean, you can see how much this stock is up. It's up from $5. So when it goes up to $14, like, yeah, there's a long way to come back down and it breaks the uptrend. Man, this is one of those times where I wish I could go short. So adapt to this market, guys. Uh, it's not as crazy as February, but maybe I've heard, maybe when we get those stimulus checks in a couple of weeks, that's what I've heard. Uh, maybe things could, you know, get a little spicy again. So that's what I'm hoping for. Mwah! Please bring back OTCs, please. SEC got to stop halting stuff, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all the interesting stocks. I mean, there's probably a couple more, but nothing crazy. Um, and yeah, that's it, guys. AST, I, I, okay, I guess I guess there's two that I could not trade. Uh, let me let me call them out real quick just to make sure they're on your radar. Um, LTNC, yeah, so I couldn't trade this one. I could not trade LTNC, but if I could have, I would have. Definitely some nice dip buys on this stock. Uh, you can see some nice dip buys. Had a crazy bounce, I mean, from 120 all the way up to, I mean, that's 100% bounce. That's 100% bounce. That's crazy. I mean, that's a crazy bounce, guys. It's like 100% bounce, unless I'm tripping. I can't find the, all right, I think it's 100%. It's it pretty much, pretty close to 100% bounce. So this is uh, one of those tickers where it stinks to be on Fidelity because it has a stop sign. I guess they're they're late on their, their documents. And because of that, you're not allowed to trade it. But the good thing about that is 
these are more likely to get suspended by the SEC. And if they do get suspended, you do not want to be holding long term. Because again, let me just remind you one more time what happens when a stock gets suspended. Let me go back. COUV, this is on the 9th of, of uh, February. It gets suspended for two weeks. Reopens here on the 25th. Hits as low as three cents. From 85 cents, 83 cents is where it closed. 84 cents. All the way down to three cents, guys. And I mean, now it's trading at 13. So you put $1,000 in there. It turns into, I don't know, 150 bucks. You put 10,000, it turns into 1,500. I mean, you do not want to get stuck in an SEC haul. That is all I'm saying. So that is it for this video, guys. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, smash that like button. Until then, until, until when, David? What are you saying? I keep messing up these outros. I, I've done too many of them today. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, let's grow better together. That was it.